Hello and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. Carlson isn't around this week, so I'm sure it was odd to hear that coming from me for a change. We also switched this week's edition of Two Minute Tuesday to Wednesday out of respect for our late queen. So let's get into it. I'm Sam and today we're going to be running through gateway two of the Building Safety Act 2022. We've previously published a video running through gateway one of the Building Safety Act. If this is of interest, I've put a link in the description below and you should be seeing a card at the top of your screen. Now, before we delve into Gateway 2 specifically, I'll just give you a very brief overview of Gateways 1 and 3. Gateway 1 comes in at the planning stage of a building development. People applying for certification must demonstrate that all of the correct fire safety precautions have been taken into account, specifically in relation to fire vehicle and water access. Moving all the way across to Gateway 3 now, this is obtained upon completion of the construction. This is where a regulator must undertake final inspections of the building, and if all is well, they'll issue a completion certificate, meaning the building can then be occupied. But what is Gateway 2? Well, this slots in nicely between the planning stage and the completion of construction. Gateway 2 is implemented just before construction commences. A building control approval application must be submitted by the client to the regulator. Detailed information, including written declarations relevant to the principal contractor and principal designer's competency, must be provided at this stage. Also needed is a description of the work, detailed plans, and a plan which describes how safety of the building will be maintained throughout the entirety of the construction process. Furthermore, there needs to be a description provided for the design and build approach, the arrangements for the capture, maintenance of the golden thread information, a planning statement from Gateway 1, and the fire and emergency file. The building control applications have a proposed 12-week period to be approved or rejected by the regulator. There must be reasons provided if the application were to be rejected. To quickly cover off now, if there were any changes during construction, this falls between Gateways 2 and 3. Undefined major changes to an ongoing construction require approval from the regulator before the implementation of said changes. There is a proposed four weeks for the regulator to approve or reject these changes. An undefined notifiable change is something else which needs to be referred to the regulator ahead of said change being carried out. In this situation, it's thought that the works will be able to proceed, except if there was an objection within a 14-day time frame. In the latter stages of Gateway 2, it's required that records of the controlled change, also including a compliance explanation of how the change meets building regulations, will need to be maintained. The changes will be dependent on consultation, now that we have the Building Safety Act. I hope this was an insightful explanation of Gateway 2. We'll cover off Gateway 3 in a future video. If you enjoyed, please like, and do subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.